I've never done this before. I've never done lasering. Oh my god, I'm literally just snipping my hair right now. What? Oh my god, this is just my dead skin rolling off. Why does this look good? My hair is black and I did not intend for it to be black. Welcome back to another OG video. Yes, I'm doing yet another glow up video, but I'm gonna do one that's actually affordable where you don't have to go and spend money at the salon or at the nail salon. Wait, those are the same thing. Basically, you don't have to break your bank for this, and I'm gonna show you how to do everything at home. I'm literally not going out to the store to buy anything for this video. It's gonna be really affordable, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna link everything that I use down below. By the way, I'm doing everything by myself, so this is gonna be interesting because we know how everything goes when I do it by myself. Also, besties, I just wanna say thank you because uh, Amazon Teen is sponsoring today's video. What? In this video, I'm not only gonna be dyeing my hair, but I'm also gonna be cutting my hair by myself with some kitchen scissors, so uh, hopefully I don't chop my hair off. I'm also gonna be doing a hair mask, doing my own nails, not just regular schmegular, degular nails. I'm gonna do gel polish and like use like one of those Files. I'm gonna be doing a blackhead extraction using one of those ion machines that literally extracts all the blackheads out of your nose And it's so satisfying and I'm gonna show you where you can get the product I'm gonna be taking a bath exfoliating my skin, you know doing all that stuff because my skin has been so dry since coming back from Bali I'm like, do I want to show you? Can you just see? I don't want to go too close, but you can just see how crusty my toe I've is. I've never done this in a video before, but I'm going to be using laser hair removal at home. I've n <coughs> never done this before. I'm really scared because I've never even got laser done in general, so I could like burn off my skin and you guys could all watch it happen. I'm also going to be waxing not only my eyebrows, my upper lip, but my armpits because I haven't touched my armpits in months and they're... Honestly, it's only like an inch long. Is that... I don't... That's not bad. I'm gonna do a brow lamination. You know the stuff that you see in the salons where like it looks like all feathered out and like using soap brow? Well, like it lasts a long time. But I could also just burn my eyebrow hair off and my skin off because I've done that before. So let's hope that that doesn't happen this time. And of course I'm gonna be whitening my teeth, caking my face and picking out an outfit and you're gonna come in for the ride. So. Let's get started. Hi, I'm popping in to annoy you, but make sure to check if you're subscribed or not because I noticed 38% of y'all watch my videos and don't even subscribe. But if you subscribe from this video and comment down below, I will like your comment. Go check the comments. Did I like all the comments? Yup, I'm not lying. Please subscribe. Love you. Hi, I'm back with an outfit change. But I thrifted this shirt at Value Village for $5.99. Kind of a steal. You know, it's got all of my husbands on there. Specifically, my favorite one. It's not like I read Wapam fan fictions of him all the time when I was younger to go to sleep. And it's not like I had a Vine edits account for him when I was younger. And it's not like I bought the Tom Ford vanilla tobacco cologne that he wears just so it could smell what he smells like. And it's not like when I was in London, I wanted to go to Brighton to try to stalk him and find out where he films and see him at the beach. Nope. Do y'all got tickets to the Harry Styles concert? Because I do. When I was in London, I really wanted to go to Brighton to see him film, but then I just couldn't wake up in time. But I was literally gonna go all the way to Brighton to try to stop him. Um, that sounds like not actually. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. But I do have this whole elaborate plan that if I ever met Harry Styles, what I would say to him. But I can't share it because like what if you guys tell him, you know? Alright, so I'm dyeing my hair, and this is some stuff from Redkin. Don't really I've just been using this. My hairstylist gave me this so I could use it when I moved to LA because she bleached my hair and everything like that so that my hair would be brown because I just hate having black hair. I feel like it makes me look so aggressive. I like other people can pull it off so well, but I just look like a bitch. Like I look so mean when I have black hair. So I decided to bleach it, but now it's brown. So we're gonna attempt to try to tone it so that it's not this. Oh, wrong one. Of course, if you don't have any access to this Redkin stuff, because I know it can be a little bit expensive, just go out and buy box dye. Um, it's not very good for your hair, but if you're on a budget, it's amazing. I don't know how to do this. Do I just... All right, we are... Bye! Bye. This like looks like soy sauce. have a technique. Did anyone else use Kool-Aid to dye their hair when they were younger because they saw a bunch of people on YouTube do it? Like, why didn't I just go buy box dye? It was because I wasn't allowed to dye my hair, so then I begged my mom to buy me Kool-Aid, and then I was rebellious and dyed my hair with Kool-Aid. You're an OG, and you remember, I used to be the biggest fan of Kool-Aid, and one of them just wants me so bad, but I never ended up happening. Okay, I think I got my whole head, and I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, I think it's been longer than um, 20 minutes, but I'm gonna shower, and then I'll come back to you. I have to cut my hair after this. Okay, I'm out of the shower and I can't really see what my hair is, but it's definitely darker, I think. Time to cut my bangs. Um, I was gonna like follow the tutorial nice and slow and like figure it out, but like do I care? Yes, but 
I don't care enough to watch a tutorial, you know? I've I done this before and I really messed up my hair and I cried and it looked really bad and uneven. I did the same thing last year too. So basically what I'm grasping from this is maybe I shouldn't do this. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm literally just snipping my hair right now. That was the most jagged thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see do you see this difference? This doesn't look quite the best. Um What did I just do? Whoa, my hair is so dark. My hair is black and I did not intend for it to be black. Give me 30 minutes to lay in my bed and think about what I've done and then I'm gonna come back to you, hopefully. Two seconds later. Okay, I think I'm better. <laughs> my hair is actually black. Now I'm gonna do a hair mask and do my nails. Okay, so you guys know like this like uh, Something something Brazilian butter bum cream or whatever. It smells so good Well, I did not know that they had a hair mask, so I ordered it. This smells so freaking good This is a pretty expensive hair mask though. Not gonna lie. I got this in a kit it came with like a shampoo and a conditioner as well for I think $45 which is pretty expensive But I'll link it down below if you want and I'll also uh, show you some other options to use if you Can't afford this because I want to be able to help everybody out and show you guys like my favorites that are Available in all price ranges. I ordered this off of Amazon. It just smells good. That's why I wanted it. Okay. I couldn't find a towel, so I'm just wiping my hands on my shirt. My mom used to get so mad at me for doing that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is the other hair mask that I know of. This is called the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. I saw this on TikTok and I use it, and I've already used like half of it. I think it's good. I remember it being good, but I'm gonna link this down below. But if you can't afford both of these, Try the shea butter, like, moisture <gasps> hair mask. I'll link that down below, but I just remembered. I saw these all over TikTok, and it's like this hair, plus this placenta super sprinkle, leave an instant leave an instant conditioning treatment. And I saw these all over TikTok. I bought literally every single one. A little bit later, and I just washed my hair. Now I'm going to put this placenta in it. Like, I don't know how to go about this. Like, do I just, like, pour it on my head? Okay, I think that's good. It says allow to penetrate. Is this allowing it to penetrate? I bought this drill off of Amazon, by the way. Oh, I bought this drill off of Amazon, by the way, and it works really well. I've had this for like a year now. I'll link it down below. Thank you to Amazon for sponsoring today's video, by the way. It's the fact that I can say that, and it's like not a joke. As y'all know, I literally use Amazon products in every single one of my videos and especially my glove videos, I always link all my Amazon products that I use down below because everything that I order for these videos is from Amazon. So this is an insane sponsorship. But they're having this thing called Prime Day on the 21st at midnight Going through the 22nd. It just has all the best deals on these Prime Days and it's only if you have Amazon Prime though. But don't worry if you don't have Amazon Prime, but like your parents have Amazon Prime. They have this thing called Amazon Teen and basically if your parent has an account, you can connect up to four different logins to their account and that's why it's called like Amazon Teen because it's like for family. You can have your own separate login, but still use their credit card so you can like shop with your own privacy so no one has to see the stuff that you're buying because I know that you may be out there buying weird stuff. I mean like I don't know what you're buying but this is the weirdest video I've ever made. Well, I think this is like the weirdest angle that I've probably ever gotten on camera. Ew, that's just like a bunch of toe dust on my counter. Time to buff my nails. You can literally get everything that I'm showing on Amazon. This sounds like the most sponsored video ever. But I genuinely love Amazon. Amazon has l everything you need. I order everything off of there. From my matcha to like home decor to beauty to all my tech related stuff. Like I'm not even joking you when I say that this is the most genuine like sponsor that I think I'll ever do in my life. And the shipping comes so fast and that's why I love it so much. And I hate going into stores so. I got this lamp from Amazon like a year ago and I've used it so many times. And it was cheap. Anyways. 
Love you, Amazon. And when you have Amazon Prime, it's not just the products. You have streaming services like Amazon Video, Amazon Music, Amazon Games, and you have access to all of IMBDs, like TV shows and movies. And literally everything that I'm using right now, I bought on Amazon Prime like a year ago. I don't know what to tell you. If you haven't signed up yet, go sign up. I'll have it linked down below, but like I don't know how else to convince you. Time is currently 1.37 a.m. and I just finished. This is what the nails look like. Amila would say that they look like white out on my fingers but i think that they look cute at least you can't see the dirt under my nails now what do you think what do you think i used to be scared to show my toes but now i don't care they look really crusty and really bad but at least i did them okay what's next Okay, this is what the hair is looking like. Let me brush it out. So I don't really know how it's looking, you know? I haven't really thought about it. I've been trying not to think about it. So if I do, I'm just gonna get sad. Ow, ow, ow. That was not the type of ASMR that we needed. This is the reveal. So anticlimactic. Why are there so many bugs in my room? Shut up, I need to close my, oh! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I need to close my window ASAP Rocky, like now. There are so many bugs on my roof. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. This is not good. I'm gonna act like they're not there and enjoy my time. Okay, wait, let me look at my bags. Not bad. Okay, uh, maybe I was just having a mental breakdown for no reason. You know what? That's actually pretty bad. Um, we'll fix that one day. Okay, I zoomed you in. We're about to do something called a blackhead extraction. I discovered this machine on Amazon like last year and I've been using it in my glow videos since, but I broke mine and I bought a new one and uh, you're about to see the craziest thing ever. Like I'm being so serious when I say that this is the best thing that has ever been made. Okay, so basically you wet your skin, right? Watch this. Okay, not gonna lie, kind of disappointed of what came out of my face, but am I though? No, because okay. see, when I had a lot of blackheads, it would literally just like suck them out and you could see it. If you go back to like my old glow video, you could see it. Ever since I went on Accutane last year, my blackheads have never been the same. Also, like, my nose is fake, but I, maybe that's why. But I can't like pop blackheads anymore. So that's why it's not working as well, but I'm telling you, this is the best thing to extract blackheads ever. This is all that came out. But I am telling you, this usually just like sucks it out. Jesus Christ. Okay, face mask time. So I have a bunch of face masks. I have this whole drawer dedicated to face masks. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ones, okay? If you are on a budget, 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 okay? If you are on a budget, we have these ones from Dermal. We have this one from um, Freeman. Dr. Jart has the best ones, not gonna lie, but we have these three. You, know, you have a little bit bigger of a budget. The masks I would suggest are the Coco Kind Chlorophyll Mask. This one's not even that expensive. And the Pharmacy Honey Potion is my favorite mask overall. You like warm it up on your face and like, mm, so good. I wanna use a fun one. So we're gonna use this Freeman Beauty clay mask. Also, I bought this off Amazon. It's like a little head thing. Oh my god. Oh. Very cute. I think it's clogged. I'm so used to my mom just like doing it for me and unclogging it for me, but um, I literally have to go buy a drain cleaner and clean it myself every time that happens, which sucks. First world problems. I miss my mom. I wish I lived in Canada still so that I could just call my mom every time a minor inconvenience happens. I have this bath bomb that we're gonna use that um, I bought on Amazon. <laughs> I will link it down below. I literally am incapable of going to a store and buying anything. Wow. Loki like the Lush ones better, not gonna lie. They're more like colorful, you know? This one's kind of just sitting there, doing nothing. 
kind of like me in all social situations. Basically, I need to exfoliate before I try to laser my hair off, and I'm supposed to apparently shave before I laser, which kind of defeats the perfect the purpose, doesn't it? Well, no, actually, I don't know what lasering is. I haven't shaved my legs in so long, I feel like. Well, actually, no, it's only been like a week, but they've just grown out a lot. And my legs and just my whole body in general is super dry because I burnt my skin off in Bali, and then now it's just dead skin on me, I guess. I can literally roll it off right now. Oh my god, that is actually... Disgusting. Y'all don't want to really see that. Do you? Okay, basically, I raved about these for like two years now on my channel, and I always say, Go buy it on Amazon, I'll link it below. And now Amazon is sponsoring this video. I know I've already mentioned that a hundred times, and they don't need me to talk about them more, but I will talk about them more because I love Amazon. Anyway, it's these like little towels, um, they're like Turkish or Korean. Let me zoom you in. You don't use any so. That was so evil looking. You don't use any soap and you just make sure your skin is nice and like soft. <gasps> oh my God. Do you see that? That was like, that was like two seconds of rubbing and this is just dead skin. Oh my God, it's just piling up. This is disgusting, but it's the truth. This is the reality of being a hot bitch. <gasps> Oh my god, this is not good. I did not know I had this much dead skin on me. This is just me rubbing off the tan that I worked so hard for. <gasps> ew, 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 This is so satisfying though. If you haven't bought one of these towels yet, what are you doing? Literally go down below right now, sign up for Amazon Prime, and buy these towels. They will literally come to your doorstep probably within the next two days. Not guaranteed, but probably because that's how fast mine came. Oh my god, this is just my dead skin rolling off. Oh freaking way. No way. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is literally just water in a towel. Like, you know it's no gimmick here. I feel like one of those TV ads seen on TV. Oh, this ain't TV. This is YouTube, baby. This is my family's channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because I don't know what other girl is going to show her crusty toes with her toe hair and her rubbing dead skin off her body in a bathtub at 2 a.m. You won't find anyone like you, baby. It's just me and you together. I'm just showing you the real moments. Actually, I don't know if any other girl really does this. I, yeah, no. No one talks about it enough. I'm trying to help you out, sis. I'm currently disgusted at the fact that I'm sitting in dirty bath water. Not going to lie. Just let that sink in. I will shower after this. Don't worry, but my skin is the smoothest. It's ever been the amount of dead skin that i just rubbed off my body is disgusting it looks like there's a bunch of little worms in here not gonna lie i'm gonna exfoliate using this tree hut vitamin c shea sugar shrub scrub sugar scrub i've seen these all over tiktok it's actually like satisfying or not Ooh, sugar scrub you can also make this at home if you like really on a budget i used to make it with honey all the time my legs are so soft wait that actually works why am I so shook right now? Like, this actually works so well. I'm gonna use this on my butt and the rest of my body, and I'll be right back. I thought we'd switch locations. I really want pizza. I just saw someone post pizza, and I really want it. Oh, uh, why am I so scared to use this? We're using the lasering machine, but I don't want to do it. Like, what if it hurts? I've never done this before. I've never done lasering. I'm kind of scared. Ugh, I really don't want to do this. Like, I'm more scared of this than waxing. What if it hurts really bad? We're just gonna do it. I'm so scared. This thing is, like, so loud. Okay, that didn't hurt. I just got freaked out. But like, low-key, what the f Why do I just want to kick my leg? Okay, that doesn't even hurt that bad, but I just... It recommends me just like holding it down and going, but like, no. That can't be good for my eye. Whoa, that feels like a fire ant bit me. Okay, y'all, I tried it for you, but I just don't like it. Um, current time is currently about 4 a.m. and I'm waxing myself now. I don't even think I need to explain this. I've done this so many times on this channel. I have this wax that you can put in the microwave that I bought on Amazon. Okay, so I have no technique to this, but we all know this already. I tend to wax my eyebrows off a lot on accident. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. This wax isn't hot enough. I'm like, not one bit hot enough. This is a disaster. <sighs> Wait, I just waxed the entire tail of my eyebrow off. Let's just continue with the rest and act like that didn't happen. Okay, ready? Frick. What the, what did I just, I don't even wanna look. I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look, I don't. Why do I keep doing this to myself? This is an entire eyebrow that I just waxed off. What the? 
no 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 Oh my god, I, I can't even see right now because I'm blind, but I do not want to look close up because I know I just waxed off way too much of my brow. The whole front of my brow is like gone. My eyebrows are tattooed on, by the way, so if it doesn't look like a big deal, that's why, but... Who let me wax? Literally, uh, this goes like sh this every time, and I continue to do it. <sighs> Frick. Mmm, I don't want to do this. It hurts so bad every time. I'm sweating. Larry, I can't bring myself to rip it off. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Ah! Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Why do I do this to myself? That hurt. Shoot. Ah! I don't want to do that. Mm, free him. Mm -hmm. Ah! Okay. I'm so scared. Armpits hurt so bad. I'm gonna force myself to do it. Oh my god, no. Mm -mm. Didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I am not prepared for this. I hate waxing my armpits. It always leaves my armpits so red and irritated. Mm -hmm. Frick, frick, frick. Three, two. I'm sweating. I'm sweating so bad. I'm sweating. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Pull. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god, don't tell me I'm bleeding. Am I bleeding? Am I seriously bleeding? Uh-uh. I am bleeding. My armpit is literally bleeding. We are not doing that armpit. Uh-uh, I give up. I actually, I give up. My skin stay irritated. I've never had that happen before. I'm gonna edit this video until my skin is not discolored anymore and we're gonna laminate my brows. Please subscribe. Also, the mask mandate just got lifted in Los Angeles. I'm so glad I did this glow up at this time because I can't be going outside looking ugly no more because there's no mask to hide my ugliness. Just kidding, we're all beautiful up in here. Don't say that you're ugly. Okay, now I'm gonna laminate my brows. I haven't done this in so long and I'm kinda scared that I'm gonna burn my eyebrows off because like since like my area is sensitive, since I just waxed it literally like two hours ago, but I bought this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's like this brow lamination kit. This is where I always get them. We're just gonna dip this cute little brush in here and cleanse our eyebrows. Wow, I can't believe how well this video is going along. I hope you guys enjoy this because I'm currently editing this right now as we speak. And I like really like how this video turned out. I feel like it's very like OG vibes, you know what I mean? If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And it wants me to glue my brows. All right, so we're gonna glue these so that they stay in place and then we're gonna put the perm on them. I'll see y'all in 10 minutes. I should have done that, we back. Now let's add perm to them. This is what's gonna make them stay, I think. Tell me why my skin low-key burning. Plastic wrap, cute. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna do the fixation. I think it's working. 10 minutes. We're gonna use this, a Q-tip. <gasps> why does this look good? Uh, I miss doing this to my brows. Ew, my eyebrows kind of sting. Not gonna lie. It's currently 7 a.m. by the way. So now I have to repair the eyebrow, I so guess. We need to put this nutrition oil on to it. Help repair the eyebrows. And then cover for 10. <gasps> Alright, y'all, the time has come. 7:41 a.m. It's time to cake our face. This is where all the like talent comes in. Why did I just do that? I don't know. Sometimes I just get comforted, okay? My back hurts, is all I gotta say. Today I'm gonna show you how I cake my face. All right, I'm gonna walk you through everything that I use. Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is just a nice silky base. Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. <gasps> that was way too much. Oh, put that back. That's probably not the most sanitary thing, but I, what, since when am I sanitary? Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 120. This is the dewy and smooth one. Oh, that was a really nice dewy finish. Okay, e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Just on like my blemishes, like my acne scars, since this isn't the most like high coverage foundation, but it's like really natural. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to use this to kind of highlight, not really. It's just a little bit lighter than the e.l.f. one. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again, but in shade 11, and just using this to 
highlight. The LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is super affordable and it's really good. My biggest tip when doing cream contour is grabbing a whole different beauty blender and dedicating it to your contour. You're gonna have such cleaner lines that way. Using this powder from Bare Minerals, I switch my powders all the time. Charlotte Tilbury Blush. Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wand. Now for eyes, curl my lashes. Using one of my favorite mascaras, this is the Maybelline um, Sky High Lash Sensational. Morphe 2 Eyeliner in Brown. And I do a little wing because I feel like it makes the biggest difference to my eyes. Boom. Small little wing. Literally so minor. Like barely anything. I can't find my lash glue. I've been looking everywhere for it, but I can't find do it. Do my eyebrows now using these, this Kosas. This brow lamination turned out so much better than I thought it would. And waxing my brows, oh my god. I've been waiting to do that for a while now. It just makes my makeup look so much cleaner and like eyebrows just like make or break a person I feel like I just feel so much better with my brows waxed now and use the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk overline my lips and using one of my favorite glosses this is the one by Morphe add this on for a little extra oof, this Urban Decay eyeliner a little bit under my eyes to make them a little bit like bigger looking <gasps> i do have lash glue use the demi wispies okay got the other lash on but i'm gonna lightly bronze my face with avani's um morphe palette just because i feel like my face is like white right now using just a blush brush and the whaley physicians formula butter, butter collection love 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 this shade of blush right here what i've been using for the past couple months of course gotta go back in with more mascara to blend your lashes it makes the biggest difference like the biggest difference blended not blended. Can you tell? Oh, uh, uh. oh my god, no. That's it for today's video, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you subscribe from this video, comment down below because I read every single one of my subscribers' comments. Check in the comments right now. Are all the comments hearted? Yes, because they're all subscribers and I like every single one of my subscribers' comments. I'm also hosting a giveaway on my Instagram right now, so go follow my Instagram if you want to check that out. But thank you so much to Amazon for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I can't believe I just pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.